trapping on the track, track, track. Previously, on Big J, I'm gonna stop using this thing long. here. I'm always losing it, mm -hmm. and I'm tired of using it. It get lost, and sometimes I forget about it, and sometimes my trailer be like this all the time. So what I was using this for, I was using this to keep my my tailgate here closed. I'm gonna cut this off here. And then I'm gonna grind all that back real smooth. And then I'm gonna put a ledge right here. So I'm waiting on my point to come in. I finally got my package from Amazon. As you can see here, this is my trailer, trailer ledge I was looking for here. Big shout out to JQK. Y'all go check them out. All right, y'all, as you can see, we are back. As you can see, the snow is still out here, so I got I got to get this done. So what I'm going to be doing here, I'm going to be cutting this here. I'm going to go ahead and cut this whole thing off. And then once I get that cut, see, as, as you can see, as I try to push it, it won't go all the way down. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drill another hole right up in here. And a hole right up here, that way I can have an a extra backup if that ledge ever fall off. Maybe I can push that, that gate up so it can go down where I can put another something in there to keep that uh fence held up for a backup. So I'm gonna do this side here. And also I'm gonna do this side. As you know, those that follow me, I was using this thing here. So I'm tired of using it. So I'm gonna be putting a uh trailer latch on my uh on my gate. And these are the products that you're going to be using. Okay, this is the ledge here from JQK. And I'm going to be using this grinder here. And these are the little screws that came with it. Hopefully, I can get by by using those. If not, I might end up putting some bigger screws on there. And then if that ledge don't hold on, I'm going to get it uh, railed on. And this right here is my uh, big drill bit. I'm going to put this... I'm gonna drill a hole for a backup to keep my trailer gate up. And also I got some black spray paint just in case I might have to end up painting it. And I'm gonna be using my drill here to drill those uh to drill those four holes in, into the trailer. Well, Alright y'all, stay tuned. We'll be right back. We finally got this uh, piece of metal break it off. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna trim this off here. So I'm gonna trim that real smooth. Maybe I can put my latch on it. All right, let's get started. All right, y'all, as you can see here, we finally got it all smoothed up here. So now I'm gonna get my four holes here. One, two, 
three, four. Maybe I can put that ledge right about here. All right, y'all, this is the ledge here. I'm going to put it at least about right here. I'm going to take my marker here. I'm going to mark it right there. Ain't no holes right there. Right there. And one right there. There you go. Gonna open like that. Then come down like that. Alright y'all, as you can see here, I finally got my hose drilled in here. One, two, three, four. As you can see. And these screws here is a little bit too small for this right here. So I'm going to be going to Lowe's or Home Depot to purchase some bigger screws. The ones with the lock washer and nut on it. Where I can put those screws in here and put the lock nut on there so that way it won't go anywhere. And if it does go anywhere, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it railed on. And this is what it looks like once I'm finished. He's gonna go on that list just like that. That's the way I want it. All right, y'all, the job is complete here. As you can see here, I'm not gonna be using this no more. I'm done with that. And I'm done with these two things here. So this is my update to my trailer here, as you can see. If I wanna open it, I just pull this left here, pop it up like that. See that? And then when I finally close it, go right there in that ledge there. And I got the other side complete here. As you can see, if I want to open it up, pull that latch up and latch it right up on here. And I can open it and close it. I want to close it, lock it down. Lock it down like that. Also, as you can see right up in here, I, I did put some, uh, some washers in here. I had to space it out a little bit. And I also put some uh some lock lock washers on there also. And I also I also painted. I use some black spray paint to keep it from rusting here. So as you can see, there you go, you have it. Do it yourself next. On your trailer tailgate. I think those screws may, I think they may hold up in there. If, if it don't, if not, I would definitely get it uh, ready it on. Well, all right, y'all. If y'all like this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And always, thank you for watching Big J's Affordable Line Care. All right. Big J's on the track. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.